In today's video, I'm gonna be color grading these few different clips in DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you wanna color grade alongside me, I do actually have a link in the description to download all the clips that I am color grading today so you can do it all step-by-step -step with me. Now, before we even get started, I did kind of prep all my clips just to give you guys a kind of a quick rundown on how I set up my no tree system. So from here, I can actually probably just do this from scratch again, just so you guys can see. I create six different nodes every time I start, but typically I'll just copy and paste the no tree system in my gallery right over here where I keep my stills. So my first node is gonna be for noise reduction if I ever need it. I just like having that be my first clip. The second one is gonna be my color wheels. So I'll just label that wheels. The third one is gonna be my curves. Then my fourth one will be my CST or LUT. Now I'll show you guys the two different ways I color grade. One way that you can color grade if you don't have the LUTs that I have. And the second way with the LUTs that I personally use and color grade every single clip. I prefer using the LUTs because it gives me a better S curve, but I'll get into that in a little bit. My fifth clip is typically I use it for just any hue versus sat. This is whenever I need to adjust any fine tune colors. I notice that I get better results when I do it after the conversion. And then lastly, my last one is going to be the uh, just a 30% LUT. This is where I use my own custom LUTs. Typically, I am using the Danu teal and orange. But again, I'll get into that later in this video. So let's start off with the first version and then I'll show you the second version on this clip only and then I'll quickly color grade all the other clips as well. So the first way that I can do this is using CST. Now what CST stands for is Color Space Transform. Basically this is DaVinci's Resolve's Vlog Log Color to Rec. 79 profile. You can use tons of different colors but I'm using the S52X for this clip and actually all of these clips are the S52X. So I'll just type in Rec. 709 and then Rec. 709. So now this is my clip just straight out of the camera converted to Vlog to Rec. 709. This is the before and then the after. Now when I'm color green, I like to have the screen be as big as possible so I can see the colors as much as I can. So after I got the CST or the LUT on, then I go into my color wheels and I start adding some contrast into the image. This is where I typically look at my scopes. I'll bring the shadows or lift the shadows a little bit, bring my mids just slightly down, highlights a little bit down. I'm not gonna do anything crazy in this video on getting into masking and different things like that. This is just more just the basis to show you guys how I do it. One thing that I typically try to do before I film any of my clips is throw a gray card just for white balance purposes to make sure I can do it. But I also know all these walls when I filmed were as white. So I can just grab this little picker that's down here, click this wall, and that will get my image to be a more naturally white balanced image. Now, I don't want it to be that much craziness, so I'm actually gonna dial down, let my greens kind of come back in, and then bring that into about a negative 100 range. This just kind of gives the image a more natural look. There was sun coming in the window as well, so I don't want to just make it look like this where it's just super cool inside because the sun would warm up that room naturally so i would have it be more similar to this color right here which makes it look just a little bit more natural keeping the walls still white but since there is sun coming in that and all of this sun in the background right here is actually artificial sun same with this light right here is all artificial sun this wasn't actually sun coming in this was just a 600 and a 300 on the side coming in so I would want to warm up that image in the background. Nextly, I move on to my curves. Here, I just like adding three points most of the time. I won't probably touch this too much. Maybe I'll bring it just slightly down to kind of make my highlights right here go a little bit uh, brighter. Bring my shadows. Again, watching those curves, watching the scopes right here. That just kind of gives the entire image a little bit more contrast. And then sometimes I like popping up the skin or bringing it down, but in this instance, I don't. This is just kind of keeping the image as natural as possible. 
Nextly, I go over here, look at my vector scope and make sure that I'm gonna show two times and then I'm gonna show my skin indicator so I can see that right here. Now, one thing I like doing sometimes is I'll turn on my vector scope here, go to my hue versus hue just to see where my skin is at. Um, and sometimes I go to the color picker, boom, hit shift H, get just the skin so I can see how I'm affecting the skin. There you go. So to get just this, the majority of the skin, go to my curves, go to my sats, and then I can see now that my skin is very, very slightly off. So I'll color pick the hue versus hue, bring that more to a more natural color. And then I don't want to actually just affect this because I'm gonna get some weird color shapes and deformity. So I'm gonna hit reset on the qualifier and then that will give the image just an overall more natural look. And then lastly, I would go to my custom LUTs, go to my Danu LUTs, Danu Teal and Orange. Now I put this on and it's way oversaturated. So you can go down to here and this node key and then on the output hit 0.3 and that gives it just a little more of a touch of a look. Now let's take this LUT from start to finish. So the first thing I did was add the colors to space transform. Then I went to the color wheels to kind of adjust my colors, add a little bit more contrast, go into my curves, create a, a nice little S curve to the image, hue versus hue just to fix the skin colors. And then lastly, add 30% of a colored look. And that kind of gives me this image right here. So before and after. Before I move on to color grading all my other clips, here's actually the way I do this and it do it way, way faster. So I'm gonna go over here and go into a version two of this clip right here, where I already have this entire node tree built out. And then I will go to my LUTs page, go down to my Lumix LUTs, right here eastman rm and then add that right here now this is obviously way way intense right now but i'll show you guys how to fix that really quick now if you're interested in these lets these lets are available for purchase i actually made an entire video talking about these phantom lets right here i highly highly recommend getting both packs when you buy this you can buy that in the description below with my affiliate link so like I said, this is definitely way, way too warm of an image right off the bat. So I cool this image, bring out some of my pinks and just like that, almost instantly, like the image looks way, way better by just doing some slight color adjustments. You do have to go a little bit more extreme than the first one, but that's fine. So then adding a little bit more of a contrast, bringing up my highlights. Let's turn on scopes again, just so I can see that. They make them look so much nicer and the curve on it is great. Go to my curves right here on the second or third node technically. Um, bring this up. Just adding a little, little bit more contrast to the image. Um, here, I honestly don't think the skin color is that bad. So we'll just check it really quick. So the skin is definitely off just by a little bit. So we can go fix that in a hue versus hue. Bring that back up here. Again, I'm not trying to actually qualify her skin. I'm just trying to clip it really quick. So in my personal opinion, even though this is the correct skin color, I prefer having this more natural skin color over this one. This just makes it look a little bit too pink, even though it's more accurate. I would prefer to have her just have more of a natural look and glow to her skin. And then lastly, it's just adding that 30% LUT. Like I said, this is a Danu teal and orange LUT. Boom, go to your key output, 0.3. And I'm on shift H right now, and then you are done. Now, after color grading that clip, here is the breakdown of using a lot instead of the color space transform. So the first is using the Eastman RM Phantom LUT, then adding the color wheels to make it look a little bit more natural, adding a tad bit more contrast. I didn't add anything on the hue versus sat curves. So then just a nice little 30% LUT, and then here's the before and then the after. Now, personally, in my own opinion, using the LUT right now, 
is just a little bit too strong when you compare it to the original right here, but it does give you more of a contrasty look versus the first one's gonna give you that more natural, clean look. So it just depends. If you want a more clean, natural look, this is definitely the way to go with the Color Space Transform. If you want a more contrasty, filmic, genre look, this is the way to go using the Phantom LUTs. All right, let's move on to another clip. So I just recently filmed for a pickleball company um, and here is this clip right here with this pro athlete. So here is the Color Space Transform looks super easy to grade we're just gonna do curves i'm gonna grade all the rest of these clips really fast so i probably won't explain too much but honestly like that clip looks like good as is just using the cst and then using color wheels going to the curves we'll just add a little bit more contrast to the image that looks great and then just a nice little 30 percent look with the danu teal in orange again this is way too crazy but we'll kick it back with 0.3 and boom, call it a day. Four, and here is the after. Again, we'll tip break that down one at a time. CST, color wheels, and doing the color temperature, color curves, add a little bit more contrast. I didn't really adjust any of the skin tones, but you know how to. And then lastly, a 30% look right here. This is again, the before and the after. Now here is how I would color grade this normally, just using the Eastman RM LUT. Again, just adding that LUT. Let me reset this. Adding that LUT right here. This is way too crazy. So we'll fix that color temperature. Fix it just right there on the skins. Bring that contrast back in. Those highlights are a little bit nuts for me. Bring those mids just down just a tad bit. Bring those contrasts down. Probably somewhere around there. Um, I do kind of want this to be a little bit warmer. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. And then let's go to my curves again, middle point. Just give it a, taking off the blacks just a little bit with that curve. And then finally that 30% look with the teal and orange, go into the uh, node key, 0.3 on the output and then the before and after. Now let's just do a quick comparison of what this looks like. So here is just using the color space transform right here. Now it looks clean, it looks super natural, but if you want that more like filmic look, I would go right here using the LUT. It's just a personal preference at the end of the day. You do, can do both, they both look good, but they both have different curves and saturations. Again, you saw me do this in real time on how I color graded this and it was really, really fast. Now for these last four clips, I'm just gonna color grade them really fast and I'm gonna be using the LUT just to kind of show you guys how I do this extremely, extremely fast. Now for these last four clips right here, I am gonna color grade them using the Phantom LUT by Joel, you can definitely check out that video again, like I mentioned, or you purchase those LUTs in the description below if you want to see how I color grade all this footage. This is how I'm doing it. So I'll just already have the LUT on right here, the before and the after. We'll do just some quick color adjustments with the temperatures, adding a little bit more pink. Now, this was definitely a backlit shot and I definitely want it to be a little bit brighter. Bring down those mids. Now, everything when I color grade is just honestly by look. It's not, I'm not a colorist by any means. I kind of just color grade literally by look and feeling. And it's, if you're looking for a professional colorist, this is not the channel, but this is just how I color grade all my footage. So if you like how I color grade my footage, here you go. Now, boom. So that's the before. Oh. So here's the before and the after. Now I'll break that down again really quick. So I have my LUT, color wheels, color curves. There's nothing on hue versus hue, but you can do that if you want. And then just a custom LUT at the end. All right, moving on to the next clip. This is a cool little shot of an off-roader of something I filmed recently. So again, I already have the LUT pit on here. We're just gonna fix that color temperature a little bit make this a little bit greener, add some contrast in that image, 
Now my highlights are kind of nuts, so we'll bring that down. Bring this down. I'm gonna turn off my LUT so I can see this a little bit more, turn off my clips. All right, and we're gonna bring my mids slightly up. Yeah, that kind of tones the entire image a little bit more. And then we're gonna hit this. Boom. And then I already added my LUT. So here's the before and then the after. Like I said, this is just a super, super quick and dirty on how I color grade. It's honestly not the professional way of doing it. It's just how I do it. So moving on to our one of our last few clips. This is the conversion Eastman RM. Well, again, this is just how I color grade all my clips. Like I said, it's just simply adding contrast, fixing the color temperatures a little bit. It's, I can change the moods just in the color temperatures alone. I notice my highlights are kind of crazy. Bring my mids just a little bit down, my lift just a little bit. Boom, like even like that. This is the before right here. Adding a lot and then just fixing the color temperature just made this image look awesome. And then simply just adding a little bit of a contrast curve to that and then just adding a, my Daniel teal and orange 30% like bro like this looks so so good and it was so fast like just like that within like 30 seconds to a minute I just color graded this clip and that's like my number one reason why I love vlog so much is I can make this footage look so clean so so fast all right let's color grade that last clip right now which is this one. All right, color grading this last clip right here. Again, Eastman RM conversion. It already looks great right off the bat. That's why I absolutely love these LUTs. Adding this little bit of contrast. Now this image is definitely way too dark for me, so I'm gonna bring up my highlights, bring my mids just a tad bit, and then I'm gonna actually bring my lift a little bit down. This image, I kind of want to make a little bit warmer, but you could definitely go on the cooler side as well. And then I'm gonna bring pinks just a little bit in to fix that up again bro this literally looks so good already LUT color wheels done now if you want to go a little bit more complicated you can add your curves boost your highlights right here to just add a little bit more of a kicker and contrast and then just do the Daniel teal and orange right at the end and you're golden literally look at that that's the before and then the after again if you want to download all of these clips and then try to color grade them yourselves all that footage is going to be linked below if you are interested in purchasing my own daniel teal and orange looks it's going to be on that same page they're five dollars and you get i think five different luts i recommend pin them on at 30 percent at the end of your color grading they look just, it's a final nice little touch and that's why I personally use them. That's where today's video is coming to an end, but if you're still curious about the Phantom LUTs that I use, I did an entire video talking about those right there. And then YouTube recommends you might like this video right here. Until next week guys, peace.